Hi friends, welcome to Aditya Vlogs. Today in this video, I am going to discuss about the third topic, memory. So let's begin the video. The memory can be of two types: memory, primary memory, and secondary memory. In primary memory, there are RAM and ROM. In secondary memory, there are USB flash drive, CD and DVD, floppy disk, hard drive. Primary memory. It is also called the main memory of the computer. RAM stands for random access memory, and ROM stands for read only memory. But both these memory differ from each other in the following ways. RAM and ROM. RAM. RAM is a voltage volatile memory. The memory gets lost once the power is turned off. Both the read and write operations can be performed on the information that is stored in the RAM. The accessing speed of RAM is faster. ROM. ROM is a non-volatile memory. The memory is permanent and will not be erased once the power is turned off. It allows the user to only read the information. User cannot make any changes to the information. The access speed is slower in comparison with RAM. So, now we are going to fill the fill in the blanks. Progress bar. So, first question is a dash is the smallest unit of data in a computer. A bit is the smallest unit of data in a computer. A set of instructions, also called a program, which make the hardware work, is called the dash software. Third question: Dash and dash are the examples of system software of a computer. DOS and Windows are the examples. Fourth question: Memory devices are of two types: dash and dash, primary and secondary. Fifth question: Dash, a volatile primary memory, has a faster accessing speed than ROM. RAM and ROM. So next page. What is the full form of ROM? Random only memory, random order memory, read only memory, read order memory. The answer is read only memory. So now let's discuss the topic about the secondary memory. Sometimes there is much more information than a computer can save on its primary memory devices. Also, sometimes the data needs to be saved for later use. In that case, data is stored on the secondary memory devices which are outside the computer. Secondary memory is also known as auxiliary memory. Now read about the various secondary memory devices and write their storage capacity in the space provided. A hard drive. The hard disk comes with the computer and is inside the computer. It stores all the programs that the computer needs to work. It also stores data and information given by the users. The storage capacity of a hard drive can go up to dash 250 GB to 1 terabyte. B floppy disk. Floppy disk is a storage device which is portable storage medium. It is composed of a disk of thin and flexible magnetic storage medium sealed in a rectangular plastic carrier. You can put it in a computer. Save your information on it, take it out and take it wherever you go. The average storage capacity of a floppy disk is 1.44 MB. Floppy disks were a or a ubiquitous form of data storage and data exchange from the mid 1970s well into the 2000s when they got superseded by data storage devices with much greater capacity such as USB flash drives portable external hard disk drives etc 3 CD and DVD the compact disc is available in different forms like CD, DVDs and CD-ROM. It is also a portable storage device and holds much more information than the floppy disk. 
we cannot erase information from the cd rom but some cds and dvds are rewritable and the data can also be erased apart from storing data of a user these are used to keep different software games and educational content also the storage capacity of cd and dvd ranges from 700 mb to 4.7 gb 4 universal serial bus usb flash drive universe universal serial bus which is also known as usb flash drive also called as pen drive is a u- very useful portable storage device it comes in various storage capacities like 1 gb 2 gb 4 gb going up to 64 gb as you can see from the picture it is very small when compared to other storage devices and very easy to carry around you can easily read write delete or transfer data from the usb flash drive Now let us see how many CDs we can store on a 4 GB flash drive. If 4 GB is equal to 4096 MB and one CD is equal to 700 MB, then 4096 MB is equal to approx into 700 MB. Geek rule: the CD DVD drive is meant only for CDs and DVDs. Inserting any other object will damage it. The CD surface is very sensitive. Any scratch or damage to it can prevent the data on the CD from being read by the computer. So handle it with care. In the computer laboratory, locate the part of the computer where the hard drive is kept. Also locate the ports. from where a cd dvd and a pen drive get connected to the computer is the report for a floppy disk too in 1956 ibm shipped the first hard drive in the ram ac 3005 305 system the drive held 5 mb of data at 10000 dollars as a megabyte The system was a big as two refrigerators and used 50 24 inch platters. Here is a question for you all. Which of these is a more useful a CD rom or a DVD or a pen drive? Why? The question is over and now I'm going to discuss about the megabytes. Basic parts of a computer are monitor, keyboard, mouse and the CPU. The hardware is all the input and output devices which we can see and touch. Central processing unit is the brain and the heart of a computer. There are primary and secondary memory store or storage devices. Primary memory devices are the main memory of a computer and they are random access memory RAM and read only memory ROM. Secondary memory device can store large amounts of information and are the auxiliary memory devices. They include hard disk, floppy disk, USB flash drive, CD and DVD. Now I am going to tell you the vocabulary, the full forms. CPU, central processing unit. RAM, random access memory. ROM, read only memory. primary memory secondary memory hard disk floppy drive and usb flash drive now here are some questions two questions for you all so now i am going to ask the first question what do you mean by computer hardware name at least five of them the answer is The hardware is all the input and output devices which we can see and touch. Second question is what is the software? List down the difference between its types. Guess the answer? Yes, you're right. Software is a set of instructions also called programs which make the hardware work. Software cannot be seen, it can only be used. 